just the news you have been waiting for, the news I've been waiting for, teachers have been waiting for, parents have been waiting for, and even kids, I would argue, as well. That's right, Pfizer has just uh, released information about its COVID vaccine for kids ages 5 to 11 years old. Guys, this is really exciting. And you know why it's exciting? It's exciting because right now, as you know, we have not been able to vaccinate kids against COVID who are under the age of 12. That has left kids extremely vulnerable, and it's problematic, right? And also, because of Mr. Delta variant or Mrs. Delta variant, whatever you'd like to call them, um, and uh, what we've seen in this, this in the world and in the country, COVID cases in kids have literally skyrocketed. That's right. One in five COVID cases is in kids. So the fact that Pfizer is now releasing data about its COVID vaccine in kids is so exciting. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle, practicing family physician, on-air health expert, video creator. Let's go into what they say. I've got the press release in my hot little hands, and this is how they have released the data. Pfizer, of course, it has not been peer-reviewed. That will come. Uh, but this is what they say. Uh, five to 11 years old. These are kids in the Pfizer trial. Over 2,000 kids were in the trial. They actually received a 10 microgram dose of the, um, the vaccine. That is compared to 30 micrograms, which is what us adults have received. Um, 10 microgram doses separated by 21 days. It's two dose series, as we know Pfizer to be. And a couple of things that were shown, which is what's so exciting, is that there has been uh, shown to be a favorable safety profile. And what that means in plain language is it simply means it's, it's, it was safe. The kids were kept safe. They, they, you know, there weren't any crazy adverse events. You know, it, it wasn't deemed to be unsafe or harmful. That in this trial thus far, um, it's had a favorable safety profile, which is, of course, of utmost importance. Uh, but in addition to that, that a robust immune response was generated in these kids. And you say, well, what in the world does that mean? That means that uh, basically the kids had an immune response, which means they reacted well to the vaccine and that the vaccine protected them, right? That's what we want as well. Well, those two things are exciting and wonderful and what we need. Um, guys, this is super, super important. This is a step in the right direction because, of course, as kids are in school, etc., we are worried about them just like we're worried about all of us. And we know that kids can spread COVID. They can get it. They can even, many of them are even being hospitalized with it uh, as of late. Um, what I would say is that with this data, um, yes, it's going to be published. Um, the uh, Pfizer says it's, it plans to submit this data to regulatory bodies, um, not only in the United States, FDA, but uh, regulatory regulatory bodies throughout uh, the world, which is exciting and, and excellent. Um, this is the thing, though, what I what I want to, oh, and by the way, there should be more data forthcoming about kids younger than five, right? So they sort of chunked kids in different age groups to test what doses needed for different age groups, etc. So we still have to wait for the younger ones, but at least five to 11 years old, that's a big chunk of kids, school age kids, which is, which is wonderful. Um, this is what I would say, though. This is my question uh, slash comment to us, right? You know, we talk about COVID every single day. You know, that's what we do here. Um, you know, this is the thing. Get us getting this vaccine, which of course we want to get it as soon as possible, is of utmost importance. But it does no, it, it does no difference. It makes no difference, and and it doesn't affect much if we don't get our kids vaccinated with it. So what I want to know from you, parents, from you, grandparents, aunts and uncles, people with kids in your life, is will you uh, encourage your young kids to get it? Will you take them to get vaccinated? You know, that's the other part to this because again, right now of kids who can be vaccinated, maybe approximately ish fifty percent or so ish uh, that's still a lot lower than we need it to be so remember the availability of a vaccine does not necessarily ensure or or, or, or predict that all kids are going to get vaccinated which they should of course the ones that can't right so let me know I mean are you gonna get your kids vaccinated um, are you excited about this the other part is we've got to get our minds right and get our kids and our families ready to get our kids vaccinated. I, I want to know what you guys think about that. Uh, anyway, it's good news on the horizon. Uh, every day we are moving closer and closer to beating this crazy, crazy pandemic, guys. Make sure you get vaccinated. Join my group called I Got the COVID Vaccine on Facebook. That's a group where you can hear from other people who are getting vaccinated, hear their stories. I also have a couple of other groups called Healthy Living with Dr. Jen. And then I have my uh, subscription group called Dr. Jen Superstars, where you can qualify for exclusive content. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Caudill. If you have not subscribed to my channel and click the little bell for updates, I invite you to do so. Guys, I'll see you soon.